I'm Emma McKenna and I work in the science shop at Queen's University Belfast in Northern And we're here in Paris at the Living Knowledge 3 conference and it's been announced now that the Living Knowledge 4 is going to be held in Belfast. What can you tell us about the science shop at Belfast and why Belfast is such a good place to hold the next conference? Yes, well we'll be running Living Knowledge 4 in Belfast in late August 2009. Um, we're very keen to run it. We think Belfast now is a place that's very vibrant. We have a lot of community organisations in Belfast and in the north of Ireland who are involved with the science shop there um, and we're very keen for them to be part of the conference. We are also very keen to welcome people from right across the world because Belfast now is a very living place. Um, we, Of course we have peace now. Um, we have very involved political representatives and we're very keen to bring the issue of community engagement and science shops to the top of the agenda. So tell us a, people a little bit about the science shop at Belfast because you're actually in a very particular uh, position is that you're not really on the periphery of the university, you're part of the core mandate if I understand. Yes, yes. Um, we are a centralised science shop in Queen's University in Belfast. So we work with students right across um, all faculties in the university. We work on student research projects um, where students have pieces of research to do and where community organisations need research done. And we seek to make a match between the two so that students gain skills and of course get their research project. And at the same time community groups get a small piece of research done that they otherwise might not have been able to do. Um, in terms of Queen's, we are actually based within the central administration of the university university which is why we can cover all faculties. Now I know that it's that it's early days and and a whole program and agenda will be settled over the next couple of years but tell us a little bit about Belfast and some of the particulars that you think that that people will gain by coming to Belfast. Um, Belfast well I live there so of course I think it's a wonderful place um, it has a lot of very interesting history, of course, and there will be people who will come to the conference because their family have history in Belfast or in Ireland. Um, it's also a very welcoming place. We know that our tourist board is very keen to welcome people into the north of Ireland and will do whatever they can to help people find their way around. Um, we have fairly, we have very good um, air links there now um, and reasonably good transport links, so you will also be able to travel onwards if you wish to visit other parts of Northern Ireland or indeed other parts of the Republic of Ireland as well. Um, so it's a very good place to come and it's a very good place to spend some time. There's going to be a lot of information circulated over the next couple of years. I mean a lot of feedback out of this conference here in Paris which has been you know just wonderful. But if people need to find out more about the science shop at the Queen's University Belfast, how do they do that? If you want to know more about the science shop at Queen's, um, you can check our website. It's www.qub.ac.uk forward slash SSHOP. Um, or you can certainly be in touch with myself, Emma McKenna, or with my colleague Eileen Martin. Um, we'd be delighted to hear from you. Um, if anyone has any thoughts, anything that they're thinking about now, this is a very good time to tell us. Uh, of course we want the conference to be very open, very participatory. We want to leave plenty of space for people to talk and think. So now is the time to tell us if there are things that you're thinking about.